Stage two from Sherford to Exeter, leaving Cornwall behind. The race resumes for stage two over 183.9 kilometers in Devon. Wat van Aert resplendent in the red, white and blue leader's jersey as they headed out over the hardest day of climbing in the entire eight stages of the AJ Bell Tour of Britain. Over three and a half thousand meters of ascent as the uh, race director Mick Bennett waved them off and out of Sherford. Three categorised climbs on the day, three intermediate sprints, but before any of that, a crash in which Mark Cavendish was dumped briefly on the ground and had to get back up, and it also spent, spelt the end for a couple of riders, including Chris Harper, uh, riding for Jumbo Visma, defending the race leader's jersey, down to just five riders at the beginning of stage two. Eventually, five riders got up the road and formed the break of the day. They were briefly threatened through Dartmouth by ISN, uh, the Israel startup nation who rode them down, having built up a four and a half minute lead to within 45 seconds. But as they headed for the sp first sprint and the first King of the Mountains of the day at Street, it was Jake Scott who is at it again, picking up climb after climb and then uh, repeating it in the company of Robin Carpenter from Rally through the first sprint of the day at Slapton Sands. Jake Scott, threatened by Carpenter at the first of the sprints along the coastline in beautiful Devon sunshine. And Robin Carpenter from Rally, just about edging him to the line to take himself three, possibly quite significant bonus seconds. And then another sprint at Kingsbridge very soon after that. And this time it went the way of Robin Carpenter from the five-man breakaway. Uh, once more, a strong sprint from a long way out, holding off Jake Scott whose second place, though, virtually guaranteed him a continued stint in the leader's sprints jersey, as well as the King of the Mountains jersey, so a good day out for him. Back in the bunch, Julien Alaphilippe, just recovering from a mechanical, one of the possible favourites for a day in which the bunch was expecting it all to come back for a big sprint into Exeter. Robin Carpenter then, through the final sprint in Tavistock, unopposed, as they headed out onto Dartmoor, picking up a further three bonus seconds. Nine bonus seconds for the man best placed on GC. Just 30 seconds down when he started the day, and uh, three riders then going clear as Leon Mazzoni and Will Bergfeld fell away. That just left Carpenter Scott, and the rider from uh, Brazil there representing the Global Six cycling team. Jack Scott then and Robert Carpenter over the big climb of the day in Rundleston. Jake Scott establishing an even greater lead in the King of the Mountains competition. Meanwhile, Julian Alaphilippe threatening to launch a big, long-range attack. Nicolas Sessola, the Brazilian rider from the Global Six, still with the other two at this point, but he dropped away suffering a mechanical. And then uh, Robin Carpenter was the last man standing with 25 kilometers to go and a gap of around four minutes over a chase that was disorganized at best, but being led by uh, Jumbo Visma. He tried to solo all the way to the finish line with the prospect of a stage win and potentially if the time gap was big enough, the leader's jersey going into stage three. When Jake Scott was caught on the outskirts of Exeter, he was the last man standing and with one kilometer to go, his advantage was still over a minute. Surely that was enough as the sprint trains got organised behind him for Robin Carpenter to celebrate the biggest win of his career. His first win in European soil. A memorable moment, one check behind to see where the chasing bunch was. And then he could uh, sit back in the saddle, arms aloft and celebrate victory on a scale that he had not known to this point. The 29 year old from Pennsylvania, Philadelphia to be precise. Big, big win for him and for rally cycling. The only question now was what would the time gap be to the sprint for second place? Led by the Ineos Grenadiers trying to line things up for Ethan Hayter. A quick check behind sees the world champion of Julian Alaphilippe trying to get on terms. Alex Peters from Swift Carbon then uh, challenging, but Ethan Hayter picking up second place and six bonus seconds to move a little bit closer to Wout van Aert. But Robin Carpenter then confirms not just as a stage winner, but and as the new blue jersey and race leader of the AJ Bell Tour of Britain. What a ride from the American and what a result from the rally team. Huge crowds in Exeter in wonderful sunshine and the leader's jersey by a slender advantage on the shoulders of the American. He would take the race lead 
into stage two. The general classification shaken up, though, as Robin Carpenter moves to the top. Wout van Aert then in second place at 22 seconds, but Ethan Hayter, courtesy of that time bonus, moving to within just four seconds of Van Aert.